Hey, all right, so here we go. I decided that these drawing uh, tutorials really needed, you know, some more than just that beautiful but generic YouTube royalty-free music in the background. You know, I'm just, I'm still gonna use that. That's still happening for my does and uhs and long pauses and, and times when I'm sipping sodas and such while sketching, you know. Uh, but, you know, I, it needed more. And that's my personality is what I'm talking about. That's what we need more. And here's my wife here. What's up, Becky? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, all right. So I'll be right back. All right. Well, here we are back. And I, I guess this works. I never really use the, the voice recorder. You know, the pause, break, pause. Well, here I am back. I don't know where I was. I know where I was, but, you know, like... Uh, Conversationally speaking, I guess I was talking about while well, well, I'm chatting now to add a personal element. If you're gonna be a rich illustrator and draw crowds and tourists from faraway places, it's gonna be because of your personality, not because you can draw Huckleberry Hound better than somebody else. Because like what my, my parents always told me, like it doesn't matter how badass you are, Somebody is going to come along and knock you off your mountain there, King of the Hill. And that's not a dig at King of the Hill. I love that cartoon and everything about it. You know, let it go down in, in the annals of time. Forever, forever known that I love King of the Hill as much as Jack Kerouac loved Dean Moriarty. Dean Moriarty. Right now, I'm inking the tie. I've already sketched Huckleberry. This is, you know, it's all cool. It's all an experiment. You know, my first episode of My Beautiful Voice. I'm drawing the Huckleberry. I'm inking it right now. Like I said, I've already spent like a long time maybe I guess it takes like it took an hour an hour and a half two hours three hours I don't know to sketch it I just drink a cup of coffee and I get to work because I don't have anything else going on right now like <laughs> like many of us you know times are crazy anyway sorry I'm drawing the tie straight up now tell me you know like you don't have to draw a circle a hundred times to be good at drawing the circle, but the more you draw a circle, the less of a, like a little like nervous wiggle you get out of it. That's why I'm so good at drawing letters. Cause I've drawn, I love lettering, always have since I was a wee laddie. Back when I used to fill up sketchbooks until your hands exhausted. And for no reason, then you throw the sketchbook away cause there was no outlet back then. I'm an old man, 42 years young. <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. <laughs> I like to swap over to the eraser and notch out little little points of interest that would give me a, a, a wor worrisome concern at a later point. I hope, I guess, you know, like after a while, because these are things that I worry about in my own drawings which I see ad nauseum in, in millionaires' works, you know, like full-blown TV productions, and you're like, yipes, what, they didn't have three seconds to go back and slide their finger over to, like, to delete that overlapping tail, because it doesn't, the tail of, like, whatever line or whatever, because a lot of the times, it doesn't necessarily feel like an artistic decision. It, it looks like everybody's got the whip cracked over their heads which is good and bad because you get a whip cracked over your head to get things done, son. Smile, Huckleberry. My dog is called Huckleberry Dog Man. That way, uh, there's no confusion with like some old, you know, be beloved former stars. Still the current star, of course, but like, 